And frankly, what drives the civic engagement, as you call it? And that's our first question. What drives you to do all of this? Well, great. And I really appreciate the opportunity yeah. to be on the show today and, uh, and talk a little bit about what I do think is a different take on uh, the playing field, if you will, for leadership. And uh, uh, I, I never intended or set out to be a social entrepreneur, and I'm not really sure there's even a definition of it in the current Webster uh, dictionary. But what I sense it is, is taking the same talents, uh, energy, and focus that we apply for uh, uh, entrepreneurship in the business realm and applying that to issues in our social fabric, in the society, in our civic world, and see if we can't get improvements in that area. And I would distinguish it from what are typical community service or um, service delivery type activities, which fundamentally are delivering things to people in need sort of the same way. What a social entrepreneur attempts to do is step out of that, okay. revision it, look at it in a different way, and see if we can create some models, that, though that they uh, might not be fully self-sustaining, uh, they take far less energy to produce their result. And you know, kind of a cliche might be, you know, fishing for someone and teaching right. them to fish. The, the fishing for someone is sort of the traditional method in which services are delivered, and they're all outgoing. So annually and uh, you know, year in, year out, we see resources going out. The social entrepreneurship is really trying to step back and say, you know, how can we take these things and really teach people uh, in ways so that that loop can be closed? I mean, of course, it doesn't generate an economic profit, right. but it, uh, it uses resources, I think, in a more um, uh, prudent way when they're limited resources. Thank you.